Live and in stereo. <laughs> I call dibs on being Freddy. That's better? For my Carly. Yeah. Why? Gabby, you can be Sam. Actually, no, you're Carly. Can you're, I be Kat? you're Carly as fuck. Why? Am I actually? Yeah. Why? Because Sam is all like. Because this, this is I Carly. This would be I Gabby. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. And I would be. Actually, no, I'm Sam. I'm Sam. What's your name? Bucket. Pucket. Pucket. Yeah, I'm Pucket. Sam. Pucket. Deb, you're Freddy. Freddy. I'm Freddy. Yeah. I want to be. Oh, fuck. Behind what's Carly's name? Oh, actually, no, you're Gibby. Oh, actually, not Carly's name. Gibby. No, what's Carly's brother's name? Spencer? Spencer. Yeah, but he's. But he's. Uh, he's cool. That looks a lot better. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Welcome like, back to the XOXO round number podcast. I'm sitting in five. This <laughs> <laughs> most awkward part. I hate doing the intro. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Wrong Number. I'm your host Gabrielle Corrier, and here I have Dave. <laughs> You're going with Dave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for this one I am. Last right. one I used Dev. Christian, no H. <laughs> yeah, it's spelled wrong. Um, oh, someone well, could argue that. Yeah, yeah. someone could argue that. Just like. Dave is spelled Dev, D-E-V. That's true. That's why I'm arguing it. Yeah. All right. Wrong. Yeah, you're right. This is our second time filming this. The first time was filmed in slow mo and with an alien voice changer. Everything that could have went wrong did. I don't know who filmed it in slow mo, but I don't know who put stupid. that alien voice changer on. Get fucking Freddy, bro. Like a technician. <laughs> no one's paying me. <laughs> I'm not gonna put in quality work. You're the mic guy. Yeah, Freddy. <laughs> Your Sam Puckett. Yeah, butter sock boys. <laughs> Damn fucking right. I just wanted to try that. We know coin sock too. We know what's it called? It was no, butter, butter sock. sock. Butter sock. Butter sock. What am I thinking of coin butter sock. sock? First off, hold on. Before okay. we go, that explain to us what's going on, Gabby. <clears throat> like el May elaborate I? about what the point. May I? Like why? <laughs> why do you have a FAU student and a Broward College student here right now? Well, the Broward College student. Uh, do we don't need to linger on that. <laughs> We don't need a leader. We don't need to, cause don't, no, no, no. I mean, it is now like an actual school. It was a community college. Again, we don't need to linger on that. <laughs> People still call it a community college. Again, we don't need to linger on that. I also call it a community My college. Brother why are, Why do you have two men sitting on your couch, Gabby? <laughs> um, for a podcast. Okay, and what are you going to talk about in, in this I'm, podcast? I'm going to question you guys. Question your masculinity a little bit. Okay. Um, I know how to change a tire. And oil. That's good. And he's also forklift certified if anyone's interested. That's good. I do know how to drive some heavy machinery. And Christian just works at Publix. Alright, go get on with it. <laughs> get the fuck on with it. Our jobs are different in their own special ways. Yeah. I do cool stuff. He does boring stuff. Ask Gabby. Go on. Go on. What is a non-sexual turn-on? I'll take it. <clears throat> For me, a non-sexual turn-on would definitely be... If they breathe air. Fishing. If they breathe uh, air. 100%. Yeah. Always. Love fishing. Good hygiene. Good now, hygiene. What would be something that is an immediate red flag turn off, like you're not going to continue at all? I'd say, I'd say last time. constant low self-esteem. That really affects me. I'm not going to lie. Brings me down a lot if you're bringing yourself down a lot. Yeah, we, we don't want any Debbie Downers or negative Nancys, do we? What if... Um, well, I, didn't say my, I didn't say my part, Gabby. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. Sorry, I get it. I don't go to this college. <laughs> just going to skip on past me. I, I get it. I really get it. But my answer would also be the same thing. So what if she had a high self-esteem, but she was a crack addict? Well, that's different, because she's also a crack addict. <laughs> So she would have to be... Well, because there's also... You gotta walk that sweet line of, like... Because you can have high self-esteem, but you could be, like, a fucking cocky, like, really annoying, like... Because, like, if you, if, you, if you have low self-esteem, and then you bring yourself down, and, like, everyone else down, then, like, you don't want to be near that. But you also don't want to be near someone who's, like, really about themselves and has... <laughs> has such a... <laughs> has such a high self-esteem. I like such a right. Like, there's, di there's a difference between confidence and cockiness. <clears throat> yeah. So, I don't know if- I, I might change my answer then, because, like, you already did that. What, what, what was the question again? Well, no, alright. Like, so, what I- now? what I said was, um, like, if you're just constantly bringing yourself down. Because if you're bringing yourself down, I notice it also comes with the trend of you bringing other people down. Yeah. Either intentionally or non-intentionally. Especially yeah. if I'm trying to constantly reassure you, and you kind of are just, like, killing those reassuring thoughts, like, all the time. But I feel like that's really fixable. But even if they're, like, contesting... Well, what was the question again? Like, what is, like, a turn-off? Like, a red no, like, no, no, no. 
Like it, okay, yeah, it's like true. Like someone, are. like no matter what, like no matter what their other traits are, if they have this one trait, it's like immediate mm -hmm. no. And that's still, it's still your answer. Yeah, I'd say just the overall negativity <clears throat> really nice. Does it have to be a trait or could like a, even like a physical feature? I was, anything. I was gonna like more of like something maybe they do that's like a habit. Okay. That can't be fixed. Or it can be, but it's hard. Like, for example, I mean, like, be a crack addict drug. is a good one. <laughs> like, yeah, doing, doing drugs. Dr yeah, doing drugs. Yeah, then I, I was probably just drugs. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not cool. If you, like, lose all your teeth by the time you're, like, 30. Yeah. It's constant gotta, crack. Gotta gum like... everything down in the fucking rehab facility. <laughs> Those gummies would go crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, fucking my cocaine God. Cocaine smoothies going crazy. What is the truth? We love women, by the way. I thought so, I like, was we're, just we're holding not holding it. Yeah, I know, but... Alright, alright. Cool, cool, cool. You love women? I thought you don't like women. I said we as a collective. I don't. Well, now I do. I do. <laughs> well, now you do. Never mind. I guess I'm the only one. I was kidding. I was putting up a facade. I don't like women or men. Asexual. No. Oh. Then what, what do you... What, what do you, you classify, classify as? as? What do I classify as? Like, what do what I do you identify, identify as? as? I'm a whitish man. <laughs> I, I like to believe so anyway. What's your, what's your sexuality, Christian? Married to the money. Okay. <laughs> What is the truth about opposite sex friendships and how it can affect your current relationship? You want to bite? The truth. I'll give it a little nibble. So the uh, so you like okay take 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 Gabby for instance. Gabby has a fucking shit ton of male friends. I'm talking like okay no, okay 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 no take Gabby for instance. Gabby, you got a lot of male friends. Okay. Right? A shit ton, some the, might say. The ratio, some could say that. It's a fuck ton. So, the ratio from male to female friends is very, it's, it's one-sided. Alright, so I'm a whore. Okay. Okay, okay we're take. getting off topic. Anyways, I think if, if, um, let's say you're in a relationship, like, okay, if you're a guy, you have a girlfriend, and you have a lot of, you know, female friends. Actually, you know what? Regardless of the gender, I feel like that is already something that you need to have a, a talk about. Because I feel like in most cases, that's going to make your partner uncomfortable. Uh, especially, especially if you're really close to them. I'd say where you have to draw the line is if you notice that your partner is just getting really, like, touchy. Like, it, it, like I think physical contact, like, it, is probably where you kind of need to draw the line and be like, okay, like, you need to really have a talk with your partner about how close you are with those friends. Because, like, if, you know, if I have a, you know, if you have a girlfriend... And she's has a lot of guy friends, and she's like constantly like, you know, regardless if it's like play fighting or just like getting touchy or like so comfortable like that, then I think that's kind of like a, it's kind of like a okay, we need to we need to have a talk about that. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I think generally that's kind of frowned upon. That's not your know, the ideal situation. You don't really want your uh, girlfriend or boyfriend to have a lot of friends that are the same sex because I feel like that kind of. Or same sex as you, because, you know, obviously that's like, you kind of, I think subconsciously you view it as competition. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's, that's how most people would see it. But, I mean, I would so say. So, am I a red flag? No, because you don't, you don't get, you don't get physical. You don't get, like, touchy with, like, your guy friends. Like, you're not like, you're not like that. Honestly, I agree with what you're, what you're saying about, like, the whole touchiness and stuff. But honestly, I don't really see it as a major red flag as long as like, like if I saw that my significant other had a lot of guy friends, I really, I wouldn't mind it too much unless like I actually noticed something that like she was doing with one of her guy friends that I thought like only we did. Like, yeah, no, yeah, like yeah, inside yeah, 100%. Thing or like that. It's not a red flag until it is basically. But it's also like you don't want it to ever get to the point where like you're constantly feeling on edge because you don't know if it's going to ever get to that point. So, like, I could see it making people, like, kind of uncomfortable. I feel like something would have to happen for it to be that way, though. <clears throat> like, you would already have to notice something. That's true. That either point. something would have to happen, or you're just really insecure. Yeah, it's either one or the other. But, yeah, I would say, it's, again, yeah, you're right. It's not, a, it's not an issue unless she's doing something with them or someone individual that you guys do a lot. Exactly. Or that you thought is just, like, a you and her kind of thing. And, I, and that's why I think getting, like, physical, like, you know, even yeah, if it's, like, play fighting, I feel like that's kind of, like... I feel like if it's too touchy, I feel like that's kind of where it starts to become. There's got to be a line that you just don't like cross. Exactly, and I think that's probably the start of that line. We're appealing to 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 the female audience right now. Yes, we're appealing to the woman. We're not we're not a uh, we're showing them we're not misogynists. Exactly, <laughs> we'd hate that male dominance. Exactly, it's we're disgusting. the patriarchy. We fucking hate it. Ken said it best. I thought you guys liked the patriarchy. No, no, I said I, I hate I hate no, uh, we misogynists. Don't like that. Yeah. Oh. 
We don't like that. I, I love I love the patriarchy. Go women. Wait. That's not what patriarchy is. Yeah, patriarchy is horses. I know. I love the patriarchy. Comma. Go women. Oh. oh he's comma. saying he likes horses. I like horse. I like women. horses. And then go women. Go women. Oh, comma. Okay. I can like both. Horses are cool. Yeah, horses are really cool. Yeah, especially if like a woman is riding a horse, you're like, damn. I mean, I, I personally, I separate the two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Horses like are their, they're their own thing. If they intermingle, it just gets weird. Oh. Um, yeah. So, like, in the Barbie movie, if the girls just started riding oh, the horses? Nope. No. I would have turned it off in the movie theater. I would have turned it off in the movie theater. I think you guys like the movie. Theater. Yeah, but that's not what it's about. What do you think about the Barbie what do you, what do you I about the Barbie hated movie? the Barbie movie. Here we go. El Hot Take. El Hot Take. It was probably one of the best cinematic pieces <laughs> Of our generation. It was really good. It was genuinely really it was a really good movie. Oh. It was funny. Gabby, it, it was funny. It was funny. You're taking it Bro. too seriously. No, 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 no. It Dance was funny. the Night Away alone could have given that movie everything Dance that it needed. I liked the beginning of the movie. I'll give the movie Bro. I liked it. I laughed at the jokes. It went in the wrong direction. Did you go in there with like a notebook and paper <laughs> trying to like write down all the critiques you had of, about it? No, I just didn't like the just movie. Just went on Rotten Tomato afterwards. <laughs> fucking ripped him a new one. Rotten Tomato. Okay, next question. Next no, what, question. What is Rotten Tomatoes? It's a movie rating system. Oh, not like like a Karen that goes on Yelp. You're going to be if you keep this up, Gabby. <laughs> Yelp this podcast. Okay. What is the first yeah. thing you notice about a girl? I'm trying to think about what I said last So we time. answered this, yeah, we answered this last time and Gabby had an issue with Eyes. her answer. Eyes. Eyes. I didn't have an issue. Eyes. You what did, was the issue? Because I said face. And then you're like, and they're like, what, what do you notice the on the face? face? Yes. Yeah, because I said eyes on the face. I notice the eyes every single time. So you got a lot of eye contact. Yeah. I no, feel like face. that's really important. Okay. For overall, as a whole, obviously, I notice their head first. Okay. And then it's either their eyes or something. Because sometimes it could be their hair. So it depends on the person, but generally, like. But obviously, it's like your eye. You're, you're always looking at stuff. Like every like. You know, you look at their bone structure. We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two hundred sixty-eight bones. Okay, let's go lower. Fucking individually analyze all. Her, no, no. So I think overall, you know, her face, and then it would be like eyes, and then like hair, and then yeah. smile. I know you said yours was smile. Yeah, because yeah, Gabby doesn't fuck with fuck. So wait, so, <laughs> so is it like so? It's like so. Let's say so. So it's a guy. You're looking at the guy, and you you just like your mind's blank until he smiles, and you're like, I see it now. <laughs> Yeah. Is, that, is that basically what you're no, trying to say? No, like, I think if, like, a guy was talking to me and, like, I feel, I don't know, it's just, like, I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. More of, like, yeah, like, you just smiled. Like, the first thing I just saw was you opening and you your start, mouth. And then you consciously, <laughs> stares consciously, at consciously teeth. you consciously, like, oh, I, I, it's a smile. It's, like, every, every canine that she looks at, it's she more of, it. I don't know if that's, like, the first thing I maybe see, but it's the first thing I really look, no, strongly notice. Like, I can look at you and be like, okay, he has a face, but the second he opens up his mouth, that makes me think, like, I don't know, like, if you're talking, if you're looking at me and your mouth is closed right now, I don't know you, okay? You start talking to me, you have, like, one tooth out here, a crooked one here, like, you have fucked up teeth, I'm like, oh, my God. So that's instantly God. a deal breaker, no yes, matter what. Yes, yes. But what if they get it fixed? Would you go back? But we don't have it. I would have to be dating the person, and then oh, okay. they get fucked up to you, okay. and then they fix it. I can't. They can't already have fucked up. What so okay, Gabby, it's the day before you ask oh, them out, or they ask you out, okay. right? All of a sudden, they fucking freak accident. They lose a lot of their teeth. <laughs> what if you're dating like so a? So we're already player? talking. Yeah, but but you're not dating yeah. yet. No, then I guess that's it's different. Think if you're about a stranger it. They, they got me. like a great row of pearly whites, okay. but he plays hockey, and then yeah, he just gets checked out of nowhere. Like, and then he, he gets some like grills, everything. diamond fucking grills up top, top row. Oh, all diamond grills. Yeah, yeah no. up top, fake no, diamond. They're fake no, diamonds. You don't like that. diamond grills? No. Gold grills. No. Platinum grills. I don't like that. Copper. Silver grills. No, natural. <laughs> Wooden grills. Some fucking George Washington shit. He's got fucking dentures top to bottom. You don't no, fuck no, with that? No. Damn. Okay. No, I but would. like, if there was, if there was a guy trying to like pick me up, <laughs> if there was a guy trying to like pick me up that was like, um, he like, he just comes out to me, right? Maybe he's walking up to me, I think he's attractive, his mouth isn't open, and he opens up his mouth, and he has fucked up teeth, it's fucking not going anywhere. stench lines come out. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> There's like little fucking buck teeth everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's just, mm -hmm. it's not working out. Jesus. Hey, right, anyways, yeah, so, notice their face and then their eyes first. I'd say it's always the eyes for me. Like, pretty eyes is just... The eyes don't crazy. lie. The eyes don't lie. That's yeah. 
I agree, because if someone's showing me a picture of, like, a guy, and he's like, do you think he's cute, and he's wearing sunglasses, and I can't see his, like, eyes, I can't see your face. Like, so bro, if eyes. you have a lazy eye, alright, this is, like, kind of, like, my teeth thing. If they're, like, if a you fucking have a chameleon. Lazy eye, yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, bro, if you're looking at me with one eye, and one of your other eyes is looking, like, in a completely opposite direction, <laughs> like I'm not gonna finish the conversation, I'm just gonna rare, walk away. It's a very rare case, bro. Dude, it's scary. It's a very rare it's case. It's scary to look at. Next it is question. a right case. Next question. No, I think we have to continue with this eye. <laughs> Bro, like I'm just saying, like if I want both eyes. When does that ever happen, at, though? Dude, I have I have people that work with me <laughs> that have lazy eyes, You're lying. multiple, and it's like multiple, dude, like, multiple lazy <laughs> eyes. <laughs> both of them fucking darting. In <laughs> both direction. of them just aren't looking at me. They're looking off. Think about it. Then that means they could do the the fucking what's that? The Belle Delphine face. It's like, Ew! Where she like looks like is it like in? She look yeah like that yeah. Have you guys ever liked Belle Delphine? I'm not doing that for the camera. Yeah, and then stick your tongue out. I'm not doing that, Gabby. <laughs> do this, it. This may look like, like the, the casting couch, but I'm not gonna fucking do that. That could be the thumbnail for this video. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Next question! Wait, wait, wait. I'm continuing with the Belle Delphine. Oh, have you why? Guys, no, because this is important to okay. me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, Mostly. have you guys ever thought Belle Delphine was like, you're like, oh my god, Belle Delphine, like, she's so hot, like... I can't say that I have. Not really, no. Okay, yeah. good. So you wouldn't buy her bath water? No. That's just, that's not even finding her attractive. That's just being like. You're trying that's to be it, that's Stop it. muting oh, it! My mic went on mute. That's really weird. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Oh, shit. She, she fell off. That's what's going on. Oh, fell She fell off, off yeah. for like a while, and me and Sam were like talking about like Belle Delphine. I went to go stalk her Instagram. After I'm not posting for four years or something, she posted two minutes ago. I thought it was so freaking. What, today? No, no, no. It's like a while ago. She oh. posts on Twitter a lot. Of course she does. I mean, I don't know that. That's what I've heard. <laughs> through, oh. the, through the grapevine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're moving on. Island, Island boy has got crazy Twitter. Oh, yeah. See, they're fucking... <laughs> Nikki's fucking... an Island boy. Oh, Gabby. Well, can we cut for a second? All right, we're back from the ad cut. We gotta do this thing, so Gabby editing knows. Gabby, edit here. If you were a girl for 24 hours, oh, shit. what would you do? Violate my body! No, 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 no. I would respectfully... I would... I would respectfully find myself. In a mature way? In a mature way. Start an OnlyFans. I'm not gonna lie to you. For 24 hours. That means yeah. you gotta do some insane marketing for like, you know, 24 that's hours. That's true, yeah. Actually, Actually no, no. You know what you do? You know what you should, If that's the case, you gotta like, just record and take pictures for like, the 24 hours straight, so that way when you go back to being a man, that's true. you just fucking- I just, just got content. Yeah, you just, just got content. Posted. You just set that up. You're set for like, a year it's or two. either that, like, I'd make an OnlyFans, or i just let everyone hit it. Like, all my friends, dude. Oh, like you guys, you guys all got. You gotta pass. Be like Christian. Dude. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait. Is the thing? Does everyone know that? Like you. Like are you? Yeah. yeah is everyone wait, aware that you wait, turn to know, it, wait, or is it like uh, you just turn to a girl and it's up to no, you? No, you to just tell like them. it's like a, a Freaky Friday type thing. You just wake up. You're a girl. Okay. I try to convince all my friends that it was me so that they'd hit, but. Yeah, because yeah, like you sound like a girl. A yeah. You sound like a girl. Yeah. Yeah. No, but so. I feel like you'd have more of a chance of letting your friends say they didn't know it was you. No. What's friend? Who? Who's going? I feel like. We've talked about Nikki this in the past. Yeah, let's let's bring up Nikki. Dev, I feel like you. Up. I feel like you would. You in in theory, you'd let your friends hit, but I feel like you'd like throw up once it actually like, because like that's your fucking. Well, okay, in theory, in see. theory, you would, but like actually, like yeah, yeah, gen it? yeah genuinely, right, I don't. Here's what my genuine thing. No, I just started OnlyFans to make a bunch of money. That's the actually, only thing yeah. you would do. Because think about how much money you could make in just that twenty four hour period. That's it's kind of funny because it's like. And then, like at the very end, like when you're out of contact completely, you post an OnlyFans a picture of you to me. And it's like, like just as it, like as yeah, a fucking basically. Thing. No, but yeah, no. My genuine response is, I would explore myself for a little bit. I would fucking play with my titties like crazy. What the fuck? Oh, that's fucked up. But letting oh, your friends hey, fuck you, letting your friends hit is that, different. That's someone's body you're disrespecting. My body. No, it's my saying. body. I'm just saying. my body, my choice. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna make sure everyone in this apartment hears that. <laughs> 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 I would explore my body and then just be slapping them around all day, just fucking flicking them. You walk around you. naked. Don't fucking describe <laughs> it like that's that. That's where he draws the line. I would explore him my body. Tearing himself apart all day. I never said any of those words. I would explore my body in a mature and appropriate way. Constant masturbation. And then probably for twenty four. What hours else is there to do? Because I don't. Uh, and then I'd walk around uh, like at a mall or something, or just in, in public spaces. I just want to see how differently. Like, people would treat me. I'd try to get a job, see if I get paid any different. I'd try to drive a car, see, just, see the big difference between guys, driving. Yeah. Guys, what? what? 
So imagine like he's driving. It's like every curb just starts to, like. Like I start the second I put my hands on the wheel, the road is just so skewed for me. It's like a fucking Mario Kart track. I'm like Rainbow Road. I'm seeing everything curves, differently like. now because you know, I'm on average women tend to mm. be statistically. Worse. Statistically, I'm speaking. taking statistics. So I know something about statistics. I would I would agree with his logic on that. Yeah, and you're a New York driver on and top of lawyers. That. New York drivers are better than Florida. Drivers. They know how to, they all all you know how to do is go That's like maybe debate. two miles straight and then right turn, left turn, right That's turn. That's basically left turn. all it is in New York. What? It's just squares. I don't live in the city. She cannot convince us of that. I don't live in the city. You know I don't live in the city. Hey. I literally live in the suburbs of Okay, I, I, Gabby, I believe you. <laughs> it's just that the driving says otherwise. There's just not blocks and blocks here. It's Roads. Yeah, I street. don't have. You know, we, we, we have we have curves. Road. You know, we got you know little loop de loops even. No we have block, that too. Gabby. And there's a lot of no. ninety degree angle. We have that. Okay. Next okay. question. Okay. Next. So you just start talking to a girl, right? Um, you guys are you know talking or whatever, and you're hanging out. She says a different name. She calls you a different boy name. <laughs> what the fuck? What happens? Like uh, just started talking to a girl. Like you're not dating her. No. Do I know who this guy is that she just called me? I don't, I don't know, that wasn't part of it. It just, she calls you know. a different name. I don't, I don't see, like, if it's, if it's like a one-time thing, then that's, that's not, yeah. nothing, that's not Cause like, I'm calling people different names all the time, so, like, if someone that were just, to find that, a yeah. fence to that, I would want to know, I but, just, like, yeah, that just, that just kind of happens. Yeah, I just feel like it's just, like, a brain fart type thing. Alright, let's change the situation. You're dating a girl. Okay, you're dating. Mm -hmm. She calls a different name. And it's someone that you know. It's a guy? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fucked up. And maybe you have problems with him. Let's add that in there. Okay, so, so, so okay, so, okay, and then it's different. If, if you have like problems with him. Like instigating a question. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so in this, t in this scenario where you're, you've been dating this girl for a while, mm. she says the name of someone that you specifically don't like. Yes. Like you're not even friends with them. Yes, it's an accident. She knows like, that you guys aren't cool. Yes, and you may not have, like, let's say she says it and she's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 like. Then I don't, then I don't think that's, to be honest, I don't think that's a big deal. Again, if it only happens, like, once and it's not like she's yeah, constantly, exactly. like, saying this guy's name, I don't really think it's an issue. Okay, I would, so I would change like, the question. Oh my god. <laughs> she's moaning this guy's name, <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? Okay, so let's just say you guys are uh -huh. and she says the wrong name. Yeah, no. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that's that's where it's I'll like. I'd just be like, yo. That's that. Honestly, what? that would that would just like. I feel like that would stop everything for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, that yeah. would stop it all. I'd probably start putting clothes on almost instantly. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I would. Yeah. 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 That, because yeah, in, in that setting, it's just like. It's like what? Yeah, it's like I'd stop, but. What? <laughs> Don't even <laughs> question. You just like pull out. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> it's like the train leaving the station. <laughs> I'm just like. Yeah, no, that, yeah, in that situation, then it's like, okay, it's a little fucked up. It's kind of weird. Mm. Yeah, because then, then that's clearly, like, on her mind to some degree. Would you break up with her over that? I'd probably have a really serious talk about it. A, what's a the stern name? talking what's to. Is it, like, someone that I've suspected, like, them, like, doing stuff with? No, it's just someone you just don't like. Just someone I don't like? Then, yeah, I'd... After that, you'd probably start suspecting. Yeah, I'd start, that. like, I'd definitely start suspecting something after that. But I'd just have to, like, really just talk to her and just be like, what the fuck if she's, was that? If she's saying the name of my op, then we not f Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> if she's f on him, we not f It's, not, it's the Broward him. College in me, I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta transfer. Boy. You gotta Get transfer. Boy. Sorry, right. we go to a civilized university. Yeah, we go to a university. Are you literally in the ghetto? Are you in the ghetto apartments right now? I'm in an apartment. I'm at my house. You sleep on the couch. I sleep on a fucking futon, Gabby. <laughs> this is a futon. Yeah. You sleep on Wait, this apartment. becomes a bed? Yeah. That's cool. She would know. Oh. What does that even mean, Christian? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, also explains all the stains on it. <laughs> Bro, stop with the stains! There's no stains! Bro, your roommate's fucking there's, hate there's, you. There's, there's, there's no stains. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big stain. Alright, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Ed Gabby, edit that out. I'll do, I'll do a logo for you in editing so you can... There you go. I'm keeping all of that in. <laughs> Does the amount of bodies a girl has matter, or would you rather keep it the past in the past? Honestly, I'm pretty straightforward when I think about this. I'm like, if those bodies were in a relationship, I'd just say it's the past. But, like, if she was just going around, like, in a straight hoe phase, like, either after a relationship ended or she was just hoeing around, just, like, getting mad bodies, I'd, I'd count those bodies. And, like, that would play uh, that would play a factor in me, like, deciding if I wanted to do anything with her or, like, have a future with her or anything like that. But if it was just previous relationships, 
Honestly, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, it's like nine nine out of ten times I'm all for just passing the pass because it really doesn't matter um, in like the grand scheme of things. But every situation is different, so it's like oh, it's well if those it depends on were all those past bodies were they all in relationships or were they all not in relationships or were they all within like a fucking like two month time span before we started dating or something like that or is like like it, it, a lot it depends on a lot but I'd say nine out of ten times I'm just passing the pass because honestly it shouldn't matter that much at all unless like of course she's like still friends with like it, like let's, if she's like close with some of them still or something or like she's like actively talking to them um, that's weird. Then I, I would say that that's like obviously a little bit of like a not a, like a maybe a mini red flag or just you know something to talk about. But in most cases, I would just say it doesn't it pass in the past. But yeah. like, how much is too much? Because if a boy was talking to me and he told me like, oh by the way, I have like fifteen bodies, I'd be like, whoa. It really just depends. Actually, no, it doesn't really depend. Like, it would have to be long term relationships, like anything. Fifteen over, different like, long term like relationships. All right, no. All right, for a number, anything over like. Four is kind of crazy. Really? Yeah. For relationships? No, not in relationships. So, like, if you were just, like, fucking around, then, yeah, I'd say, like, four. Anything over four is too much? Yeah. I would say... Uh, what did I say? That's last? not counting relationships. So, you could be in a bunch of long-term relationships. But. I would say, like, as long... Like, is, like, I feel like as long as it's not in the double digits, to be honest. I mean, even, even, st even like, seven, eight, or nine is, like... <laughs> Too high, yeah, but like, kind of crazy. But like, it's like, I feel like it's like a like I would at least consider it still. But if it's like, oh, I have 10, 11 bodies, like I feel like more often than not, that's like kind of that would maybe be like a definite no because it also you know like if you're if you're I'm assuming that the person is around my age. Yeah, you know that's a better way to phrase it. I'd say like definite no would be like up in the higher numbers, but like lower numbers, I would just have to like. Consider. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. if I re if you if I really if you really like someone, then like again, past is the past. Yeah. So like obviously you tend to not think about it. Exactly. It, yeah, exactly. So like it, I'm not gonna let their past define who they are now. So then it, like I'm you can't gonna let their past define your future. Exactly. Ooh, that was real. Interesting. You can't you can't I'm let sure. their past define your future unless it's like you see tendencies with that past. Then that's something to like you know because like what if it's like she was in a relationship. And then she got three bodies after that, was in another relationship, and then she got, like, three bodies right after that. And, like, Multiple they were... whole phases. Yeah, and, and they were, like, really yeah. short-term relationships, too, that you could look at, you know, the one, the relationship you want to be in with her, and, and are like, okay, well, how am I supposed to know that that won't happen again this time? Yeah. Like, it's definitely, you also got to notice, like, patterns and tendencies, but in most cases, uh, I would say, I'm not going to let the amount of bodies someone has, unless it's, like, double digits and higher, determine... Uh, how I feel about them going forward in the future. You guys would go crazy if you knew bodies that university girls have. Oh yeah, no, it's it's stupid high. It's, it's definitely crazy. stupid high. It is. But I mean, it's also like you know, because a lot of people are different. Like I'm like, so no one's the same person that they were. Like actually, I can't say no one, but a lot of people change over time. So it's like the person that someone is now is not who they were. Like two, three years ago. That's true. Like, a lot of people can change. They can, like, oh, I used to do that stuff, but I'm, like... Go know. through a growth period. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So mature a little bit. That's why, overall, in most cases, the past is the past, and I'm not going to let that define my future with someone. Good answer. Good way to put it. You guys better have an answer this time and thought about it long and hard. What is it? Oh, I just stretched my balls. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> can we have a ball break? Yeah. yeah. If you had to choose any well-known female in the oh. world to depict... Your type in a girl, who would that be? Well, Lainey no. Wilson. Who? Oh, uh, <laughs> Lainey Wilson. Is that a porn star? No, no. she's a crunch, country singer. Oh. Deb's yeah. favorite female country singer. Favorite female, period. Let's pull up a picture. I don't have an answer for that. Why? I don't like women. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't like women or men. Okay, what's your type in a girl? Uh, that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Blue collar, they gotta. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know. They gotta fucking breathe air. That's a good one. That's a good. And oh yeah, they have to breathe air and not nicotine. That's Truth. A good one. Truth. They have to. There's a lot of girls that smoke now, though. Yeah. It's really sad. I know. Dave's becoming that new girl. Yeah, Dave, you're becoming the new girl of the block. No, but genuinely, I don't know. Like, cause it it, it all depends. Like, I don't personally, I don't have any specific types. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. I, I don't know. There's no. I don't have a. I don't have a perfect depiction of a of a someone famous or anyone that I look to as like, oh, that's my type. I, don't, I just. I just don't have that. Okay. Sorry, Dev. It's not not Lainey Wilson. Shucks. Because like, what if what if in person she's just a really shitty person and you have she's no idea? Not. How do you know? I met her. Oh, you did. Yeah. I Wet have... dreams don't count. <laughs> Haven't met her. <laughs> <laughs> or Dua Lipa. Okay. That's a good answer. I'm trying to think of another blonde. Dance person. the night away. <laughs> That's such a good. Oh, song. Barbie! I heard. I heard she's blonde. Margot Robbie. That was a pretty good one. She's Australian though. And you don't like Australians? It's the accent. Really? Actually, oh, no. I like God. Australian accents. I don't like British accents. I like Australian accents. Hello, Governor. All right. <laughs> Hello, Governor. Let's <laughs> have some toast and beans for breakfast. Did you want some breakfast, Dev? Beans on toast. Yeah, hey, that's what I said, isn't it? Yeah, Gabby, you f***ing hate British people. They're fucked up teeth. We're in a f***ing rehab facility, by the way. Yeah. Gabby has <laughs> side everything in here. What? To add on about, like, the whole type thing. Blondes or brunettes? Blondes. Okay, if I had to pick one? Oh, here we go. Brunettes. Okay. Okay. Why do you say blondes, Dev? I want to try something different. That's the only reason why? Yeah. Cause, just because you haven't tried blondes yet? Yeah. Okay. Basically. So what's all wrong with brunettes that you feel like you have to switch teams? Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, that, that hit home. Ooh. No, I'm just asking. Wonder why. Ooh. I'm just asking. Wonder why. What does that mean? I'm not going to I don't point fingers. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, you should probably do the next question. A lot of things. So you're trying to get blonde highlights, though. No. <laughs> I, I mean, I have highlights. It's like your hair is bipolar right now. Jeez. It's like trying to get the best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. It's getting the worst of both. Gabby, yeah. yeah, what, what, what about you? Blondes or brunettes? Brunettes. I yeah. do not fuck with the blonde. Yeah, oh, you, is it like a... Okay, so... You just don't, you just don't fuck with brunettes, or blondes at all. Mm -mm. Dev, you, you choo you're choosing oh, blondes both. because... Oh, 100%. Yeah, but if you had to yeah. pick one, it would be... If I had to pick, like, if I had two of the exact same girls in front of me... Yeah, you have two tens. Color. They're both tens, okay? Fucking blonde tens. and one's brunette. Go with the blonde. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why? I haven't tried it yet. That's CCA. Because so that. you haven't tried it yet? I'm talking so, about looks-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. looks-wise, I'd pick the blonde. Cause but I you, know, but you said because you haven't tried it. All right, yet. no, all right. Right now, as of this moment on September six, six, whatever year it is, I would pick. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, oh my god, I gotta <laughs> cut that out. You gotta I didn't know. Out. I gotta get. Oh shit. Person's gotta get home. <laughs> I gotta go. Guys, I gotta, gotta go. Gotta go the new. I would choose brunettes. All right. I don't have anything against brunettes. I would just say like. As of this moment, I just find blondes more attractive. Yeah, so it's, it's the same thing. Like, I, it's not like it's not like Gabby where she has a hatred for brunettes. Yeah, yeah. That's why she likes blondes. Wait, I just what? I, I like, if you if I more 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 often than not, I'm choosing brunettes. It's like, what do you want your burger with? You know, you know? blondes. I mean, <laughs> that was blonde. an option. Shit. Anyways, Fucking cannibal. <laughs> or you just became anti-vegetarian too. It's crazy. I'm not eating people. <laughs> yeah, bro, get with the times. What yeah. are you doing? Isn't there like an island where they do that? Like, where like they some... eat? I mean, they technically on Epstein's island, they, he ate a lot of really children. They just busted them. Yeah, like I mean, he also probably like ate them. Probably. Are you there? Island boys were. <laughs> were they actually? In, in, that's, that's like a like, theory, yeah, right? Like yeah, I saw that. I don't think they were. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, you probably don't want that in. Anyways. Okay, so last time we talked about gift giving. Okay. So, you're dating a- we talked about how you shouldn't really, like, give a gift or whatever until it's someone's birthday, right? So, or what, what, what are you talking about exactly? You said something? I said like, special okay, Yeah, like, okay, gift, like, like, as in, like, 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 a super expensive young. gift, like, 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 jewelry, like, mm -hmm. like, like, aside from- Because you're saying this is in a relationship, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then, like, there's, like, you know, notes, letters, flowers, like, those little type of things. I think that's- appropriate to give at kind of like any time but if it's like a gift gift where it's like you know a lot more money then i would say yeah i feel like it just comes down to like price and like what it is because like right. i feel like the gift is differentiated by like the occasion yes like, yeah you're not gonna get someone roses for like oh well actually no 
You, well, can yeah. get, you can get flowers for anything. Uh, yeah, I feel like flowers is like anything. But like you're not going to get like a little friendship bracelet for like your anniversary. Yeah, exactly. Unless there's like some inside. You're not going to give them. You're not going to give them a Timu chain for their anything for, Timu. Target head. Anything I Timu. Feel like no, like, well, absolutely not, not anything. anything not on anything Timu. Timu okay. Timu's pretty shit. We got a good shelving unit. Over. I should not shake that. It's yeah, going to be crazy. I was so ready for that. I should not shake that. I feel like your light's done. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's slowly it's going not, down and down. No, it is good, probably answer an option. Anyways, uh, no, but to, what I was going to ask about the gift is, let's just say you're dating a girl, and two weeks into dating, it's her birthday. What do you get her? So you guys just start dating two weeks into it? Then I'd say that's different, because that's a birthday. Yeah, birthdays are pretty big. Yeah, birthdays are big. So then I would literally, like, not something you'd get... And, like, obviously not, like, don't get... Yeah, not if you guys were, like, dating for a year and it was her birthday. I feel like that would be different. But, like, you still want to get something that shows that... Yeah, like, like a stu- like a stuffed animal it. or, like, you know, something that's not, like, it's also, like, maybe, maybe something useful that she would actually use. It could be, like, a lot of small things. I feel like that would get that's the true, yeah. message across. Like, something that has to do with one of her hobbies or something. Because, mm-hmm. yeah. like, really, like if, you're, if you're dating someone and, like, the occasion is anniversary, then you're going to get a gift that has something to do with the love that you guys have. But if it's something like her birthday, then it's obviously more, you know, appropriate to get her something that, you know, is... She likes. Yeah. That, that, she can, like, find something to do with. Yeah, so yeah, something that, like, she would actually use, you know? Something mm-hmm. that she appreciates person, like, on a more personal level. Yeah. No fucking way did that. What did it say? What did it say? Zooming. Take two. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really for zooming. Gabby, recut. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <show. laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm ready. 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 <laughs> Hold on. I'm not ready. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's good. good. Yeah, that's the best. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cut. It just is. Wait, redo that. Redo that. Redo that. Bad scene. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. There's not. He's, he's got to get. Is chivalry dead? I don't think so. No, it's person. not. I think it's not. I still open doors. I still open car doors, restaurant doors, Bass Pro Shop doors. For women. But no, for not women. for not for women. Just, no. In no, general? you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I did it. I'm pretty and sure I did. opened a door for you. I no, do you it. did not. Christian opened a door for me. What I'm thinking. Yeah, no. In Publix, I hit the entry sensor and like... <laughs> yeah, and like, like <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no entry no. sensors? Yeah, that's how it... Gabby, that's... I thought you just like walk up to it. Gabby thinks there's like a little guy. There's like a mini <laughs> guy <laughs> inside <laughs> the door. It's like, oh, the other one. The no, toys are Toy Story are opening it. Does it not automatically open? That the, from the sensor. the sensor. What, so you walked under the sensor? Yeah, and it opened and then you yeah. walked in behind me. What the fuck? That's not you opening a door. That's you <laughs> knowing how technology works. I know, works. that's why he said it. Because he can't think of a, the single instance oh, okay. where he did anything. Okay, for Gabby specifically, I can't think of anything. Yeah. But for other women, I do open doors. I open car doors. I throw my f- shirt on a puddle while they walk across <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I, give them, I give them my raincoat whenever it starts to pour. You save uh, orphanage children. Uh, yeah, whenever I see an orphanage burning down in the distance, I run full speed, start throwing them out the window. <laughs> Chucking them out like a fucking... They don't pigs, survive so. on the way down, but I still get them out of the building. That's all that matters, to be honest. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's not my fault. What happens I don't think chivalry's dead. So what chivalrous acts do you actually do? I open doors for people. Uh, like, let's say if I'm walking... People or women? Women, okay. Women, women, women. I'm sorry, I know that's a sensitive topic, but... Sorry. No, because Gabby, no, Gabby made it a point earlier. She was like, right, she we were was talking, like, about we're talking about women, about... and now we're bringing up Gabby, so cross the line. I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> no, what Dave, 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 like, no, oh, that's, yeah. that's, okay, first of all, that's very unchivalrous of you to call me a man. Yeah, he's just sl- he's just going out. Bro. That's what you were calling me just now. If I'm not a woman, what am I? When I'm going into a bill, like, let's say I'm going to class, and I see, like, a woman walking behind me, I'll open the door, and I'll hold it until they get there. I do that. That doesn't make me a chivalrous man. So then That's you being a, like a person, like okay. a nice person. So then, okay. so then what do you so define as a chivalrous act? What, what, what do you define as a chivalrous act? Well, that's what I was asking you guys. What do you guys define as a chivalrous but, act? So you don't define that as a chivalrous act? No, so I define that as you're being nice and not letting the door hit them in the you face. You don't think that me holding the door open for someone that's about to walk in is chivalrous? No, I think that's normal. Everyone should do that. What if I was I in a that. relationship and I was holding the door open for my significant other? Well, that's, that's then that's... Okay, but are you walking into the same classroom or you're just like walking into a restaurant and you get the door first? Because uh, that's different. Let's say restaurant. Okay, that's different than what holding if, the door What if it's open. like a Whole Foods, like a grocery store? Where the, where the sliding doors <laughs> open <laughs> automatically? Right, what if it's a Barnes & Noble's when you have to pull the door? 
I actually think those are automatic do now. No, it's a, no. What no. if it's the Bass Pro Shops and you have to grab onto the fishing rod, fishing rod door handles, and you pull it forward? Okay, but I feel like most. More... I feel like most acts of kindness are chivalrous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no, no, it could just be an act of kindness because I could be walking. Then how do you? Do you how do you? What, so does right, it make like, it? What makes it chivalrous? Let's though? look up the definition of chivalry. No, because this is your question, Gabby. Yes, it is. And so you're you're you're, you're saying that opening doors isn't chivalrous. I'm saying. I'm saying I would do the exact same thing if I was walking into a classroom and I noticed a guy behind me. Okay, so I'm then, gonna keep the door open for him. I'm not an ass. So then, is that not you being chivalrous? No, that's me being nice. I I agree that it's common courtesy, but yeah. I oh, still that's think the word. that it's common chivalrous. Yeah, common courtesy, but I feel like that's also that that can also be it can be both. Yeah. But why can't it be nice and chivalrous? Exactly. <laughs> so very polite, honest, and kind behavior, especially by men toward women. Yeah, yeah, I don't lie to women. Alright, it sounded really sarcastic. I don't, I don't lie to women. I don't lie to women. So I'm, I'm constantly truthful with women. So just, by telling the truth, that's you being chivalry. That was in the definition. Because you can. That was lie. in the definition. So you can lie. That was in the definition. Okay, I'll, I'll tell the truth this time. I'll be chivalrous. All right, so we're gonna go back to the first date thing that we talked about the last time. You pull up to a girl's house. Stop. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You're, you're going. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll be chivalrous this time. Yes. Yes. You do look good in that. <laughs> you're going to a girl's you know house. What? Yeah, I'm cheating on you. <laughs> Shut up, Dan. You're going on a first date with a girl. I'm setting the scene. You're going on a first date with a girl. You're picking her up from her house, okay? What do you do? You okay. pull up to her house. I don't... Do, okay. Play by play. Play, by, play play. by play. Step by step. As I leave my house, I text her, and I text her how far I am and, like, how long it's going to take me to get to her house. Yep. When I get to her house, I'm not going to text her that I'm there, and I'm also not going to honk my horn. I'm going to get out and knock on her door. And I'll walk Is her to first the date? car. Yeah, first day. What if you're too scared because you don't want to meet her parents just yet? I would still do it. I, I feel like... I don't think you would. I don't know. I feel like you I have a very good handshake. In JRTC, we had like a whole lesson about shaking hands. What if the, what if the dad, like, fucking... He opens the door, it's looks up down, years. fucking slams it <laughs> shut again. Or like, he opens the door, fires on, like, a, charges up a loogie, <laughs> spits on your foot. You're not taking my daughter anywhere. And she's like, Dad! And then she cl closes the door, and then you gotta find another way. So now we're getting into Christian's personal experiences. <laughs> this so, is not my <laughs> personal experience. Now it's getting kind of weird. Okay. I'll go to her door. I'll knock on the door. I'll meet whoever greets it, or I'll, I'll greet whoever answers the door properly. I'll walk her to the car. I'll open the car door. I'll drive her there. I'll open the car door while we're there. I'll open the restaurant door. I'll pull her chair out. All the basic stuff. I feel like the pulling the chair. I think I agree with everything there. I feel like the pulling the chair out. That's where you draw the line. I feel, no, not draw the line, <laughs> but I feel like that's like because at that point you just. I feel like you could be doing too much. On a first like, day. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 all that's like. I mean, just like I feel like because you don't always want to be like you don't want to come off as the person that's yeah, like I'll do everything true. for you. you. Don't I'll be like pay the every. Savior yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, like the white savior kind of thing. Yeah. Like I feel like there's like there's being like there's doing all that. But I feel like there's a point where would you pay maybe for it's it? too much. Like to be like. Um, chivalrous? Is that? Is that? Like, would that still be considered is that, chivalrous? Is that still Wait, chivalrous? Like paying? paying for meal, for the Gabby? first meal. For the by by Gabby's definition, yeah, is that? By, in Gabby's dictionary, we're counting that. I don't know. I make me feel stupid. <laughs> no, so, no, I like, feel bad. I feel if, bad. So, if, <laughs> on the first day, like if someone paid for your meal, what would you would you be like? Oh, that's really chivalrous of them. <laughs> by definition, yeah. I don't that's, know because I feel like, yes, it would be like chivalrous, but it's also like. That's a dating type like category. That's Where you like, start paying for the meal? I'd say yeah. honestly, no, yeah. I'd still pay for it. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, maybe maybe like the pulling the whole chair out thing. I I no, honestly, I agree now. I feel like pulling the chair out. I feel like that's for because you don't want to be doing too. I mean, you don't need you to pull like, no, chair. If it's like formal, yeah, I, I feel like you don't need to. Do if that. it's formal, I'll pull out her chair. If it's just like a day, I feel like I feel like it's like if you don't, if you don't, if you already haven't done like an act or two of like, oh, yeah, like no, opening the true. door or like or like whatever like that, then you can pull the chair. Yeah, like if you but don't if have already, build up, exactly. But if you've already like opened the doors for her and everything, then I feel like you, you, if you want to, you can pull the chair out. But I feel like you're just doing too much. Would you pay for the meal though? On the first date, yeah. If it's if it's like a nice like fancy restaurant, I would offer to pay for the meal. Yeah. Yeah. What if it wasn't? What's like Huey McGoo's? What if you, yeah, what you wanted to do? We're not considering that a nice restaurant. No, now. actually, I, I spoke We're going to pretend no, like Huey McGoo's no, isn't I, a fucking I nice... I spoke rash. That's not, no, so. Yeah. Bole. Ooh. Ooh. Are you paying? I, I would, no, I would, for first date, first date, I would offer to pay for it. Okay. 
What if she offers to split it? Then would you go out of your way and be like, no, no? Yeah, would you no, like? No. Would you interrupt that and just be like? Yeah, I, I, I think I'd interrupt it one time and be like, I insist, and then she's like. No, the fuck you don't. I want to pay yeah. for half of it. Then I'm so like, all right. You just don't want to go back and forth. Yeah, that exactly. Weird. I'll, yeah. I'll offer to pay for it. If she's like, uh, no, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll be like, I insist. And then, and then, and then, if she's, <laughs> uh, I'll, right. I'll specific, I insist. Specifically, like, you gotta do the whole, like, if she's pulling our card, you can have someone like throw a ball at yeah. her too and just be like, ooh, I insist. <laughs> yeah. But then if she offers to split it, then yeah, because like at the end, of, you know, she's you don't also be pushy on top of yeah. That. You also so want her that's to. The meaning to would you be like? Would you be like? Okay, or would you be like? Are you sure? Like, what would you? No, I feel like if you say, "Are you sure?" That's yeah, insinuating that yeah, they're no, broke as fuck. No, no. <laughs> that's are, like, you, are you sure you want to pay for this? That's like someone saying that they're gonna bring their wallet and then you ask them exactly because you, you don't wallet. want them to feel like they're devalued as a, as yeah, their own. No, I feel like I feel like it's different if you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, no, like you got it, and then you just be like. Are you sure? Like, are you sure you got it? Like, are you sure you don't want me to pay? Like, I feel like that's- Yeah, yeah I, I know what you know, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Exactly, that's why I'm like- There's always that too much, that's just like- Yeah, for the first- for the first date, I- I would offer to- I feel like in most cases, it's also appropriate that, you know... I feel like- it's, I feel like it doesn't do any harm if the man offers to pay for it first, and tries to pay for it I'd first. say after the second time, I would stop. Personally, if it, if, if it gets to going back if, yeah, if it goes to a yeah if it's something that you guys constantly argue about then you could work out a way to just split it or if it's like it gets to a point where she always relies on you to pay for every meal then I, know, I, feel I was like, saying like the second like going back and forth like at the first date like if she if if I say can I pay for it and she says no and then I say are you like can I pay for it again and like she says no it's all right then I'll just stop yeah exactly yeah exactly yeah. there's no point arguing about that yeah what if she tries to pay for the whole thing no I wouldn't let yeah no would that be like yeah. an eyebrow raise like no, no, it wouldn't be an hour. Well, what is it's, it's, either, it's either because she's fucking loaded, or yeah, she just she's yeah. really trying to be that nice. And even if she does, and somehow like, because you know, you don't want to start an argument over it. If she like whatever convinces you that she wants to pay for the whole thing, and she does on the way, like when she leaves, fucking throw a twenty in her purse or something, and she doesn't realize that's it true. So she you gets know, home. something low key. Yeah. Unless we're going on her like super yacht later. Oh yeah. The yeah. super yeah, yacht. Super yacht. Pay for it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what if, oh my god, I just thought of this. This is not even one of my questions. You're on a date with a girl, okay? <laughs> There's a booth. No, 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 this is serious. This is a serious thing I've always thought oh, <laughs> There's a booth, okay? Okay. Do you sit on the same side as the person you're going on a date with, or do you sit across no, always from across. Always across. Always across. 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 Always across. across. Always, always yeah. across. No shot. You want to face them. It's like, yes. what the fuck you are you sitting next to each other Exactly, for? it's fucking weird. Yeah, no. Like, I get it, listen, if you want to, like, be physically close to them, you can do that after the meal. Yeah. Like, but I feel like if you, especially if you're eating, you know. Yeah. And you guys can play footsies under the table. Yeah, exactly. Like so, a little, it's all about keeping eye contact on the first date. Cause like you can't just be like eating and be like, you know, like that's fucking <laughs> weird. <laughs> the way you just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause that's like, so weird. Like, think about it, like you're just eating and like they're talking to you, so you like, you have to like literally keep your eye trained to the right or left. I feel like that's so weird. That is so weird. I, I wouldn't say it's so weird. It's uh, weird. It's pretty. But it's it's but it's definitely not preferred. Like I've seen it happen two times in real life, and I think that it was the weirdest thing. My best friend. I'm not gonna say names. <laughs> Well, is this, is this all? Is this all for a first date? <laughs> any dates? Any dates? Any You're going out with them. There's a booth. You don't sit next to them. No, I'm not gonna say names. But she's saying she, names. <laughs> I'm not saying names. But a process of elimination. But she knows. She did that, and I literally told her. I tell her all the time that it's weird. And she's like, I just don't think it's that weird. To defend, to listen, to defend the people that do that, I can understand that because it's like. I I listen, if I you're doing it every it. single date, then I feel like, especially, I think early on, especially, it's very important that you sit across from them. But let's say you're, you've been dating them for, like, a while, then, and, like, I don't think it's that big of a deal where it's you, like, so sit weird. next no, to them. Why are you at really a booth, weird. then? Yeah. Go you, home! Because you want to sit, yeah. sit next to them as you're eating. No, go home, sit on your couch, watch TV, order in, you'll sit next to each other then. Don't go out to a restaurant where you can sit yeah, four people. Is it, so is it, is it like, weird. a fancy it's restaurant, so or is it just, like, a Even if you're at Applebee's... <laughs> Who the fuck's yeah, going to Applebee's? It's like a New York Whoa, thing, bro. It's there's a fucking a, New York There's thing. an Applebee's I'm down not going no to one New York eat, No one in you. Florida eats Applebee's. I'm not going to New York with I mean, I have a fucking Applebee's, bro. That's no not one in Florida eats Applebee's. I went Applebee's. to Applebee's like two weeks ago. What the fuck? Here? Yeah. Dude. What I got the, the endless wings with Taylor. Were they really endless? Yeah. No. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. 
It's still good. It doesn't matter. It was good. I'll try it out like once in my life. I've never had Applebee's. I don't think I'll ever. So we can go. We should go. No, no, no. Not going to Applebee's. Why not? Next question. Not tonight. Not tonight. Next question. I want to be dying tonight. Okay. No. This is still important. Sitting on the same side. Yeah. No, it's fucking weird. No, no, yeah, no. Most cases, like, no, I'd never sit across. Flat out, I never do it. I would never do it. If my boyfriend like initiated it, like, okay, story. No, 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 not never. If you're in a group setting. Then, okay, group, that's, that's different. No, we're talking that's about, like, different. dates, though. Like, dates. Yeah, like, double date. No, no, no. Uh, well, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a double date, yeah, you'd sit across. Yeah, no, I mean, you sit next you to and that person. Yeah, yeah, but, okay, but, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. One-on-one. On one, 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 yeah, one I'm on never one. doing that. Yeah. No. Story time. I'm not saying any names. Again, if they see this, they see this. Um, <laughs> I, I was going... It was a group setting. Two people were dating. Uh, I think there was four of us there, so it was me, some other person, and then two people dating, okay? I was sitting next to her, and then across from us, they were sitting across from each other, which I don't know, no, listen, they were sitting across from each other, okay, mm -hmm. at the table. I didn't think it was weird. He got mad at her that he would not sit next to them. They weren't sitting One next to each other. One of the first other. signs. Yes, they weren't sitting next to each other. So I said to her, I go, wouldn't you want to look at someone when you're on a date? Like, you're looking at them, you're, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I don't know, whatever. So they keep dating, they keep dating, and they keep going on dates, and he always initiates sitting next to each other. So I feel like that's just that. Weird. I feel like that's just the thing because they want to be physically close. You do that after. But, like, what if they don't? You can be physically like... close while you're f***ing after the date, rather than being but Gabby, on the date. what if they're not at that stage? If they want to be that close, they're probably at that stage. They want to eat food sitting next to each other. That's, That's just weird. so weird. Like, it's don't weird. don't side eye me when you're fucking eating your crab rangoons. Like, I'm not trying. <laughs> but again, to do that. in that situation, but in that situation, you're for she, crab in that situation, she was in a. They were in a group setting, weren't they? Yes, but it, I don't. I still think I don't know. I feel, I feel like in a group setting, I think it's I yeah. In a group setting, it's normal one on one. Like, that's just to weird. get mad at the other person's weird. Yeah. I know, that's what weird. for not sitting next to them? Which one is sitting next to me? <laughs> that's just weird as fuck, dude. Yeah. yeah no. So yeah, to get mad at them, that's a little. Yeah. No. Yeah. But it also, I feel like it depends if it's a table or a booth. If it's a table, I feel like sit across from each other. If it's a booth, sit next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Because in a yeah, booth, you have to go like. Oh, I thought out. this whole time you guys were talking about a booth specifically. No, no, okay, well, well it no. could apply to both. Yeah, it okay, could, yeah, yes. yeah. But yeah, but, most cases, it's like, table, always across. Booth, I, I feel like it'd be either or. Yeah. If, yeah. Especially if it's in a group setting. At group a bar, setting. I'm fine with side by side. Well, well yeah, because it's a fucking bar. That. <laughs> you can't go to a fucking... If I'm the bartender! The, if she's the bartender, <laughs> then, I mean, it would be a cross. Would you date a bartender? I mean, are, are, are they, like... Fucking drug addict? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Majority That's of them. Live life on the edge. Majority of them are. Alright. Next question. How many more do we have? Oh, that's w okay. That's weird. <laughs> that's that's weird. Okay. Got it. Took a swig of it. Got it. I get it. I get it. Have a look. You got me a bottle. That one on the floor. Nah, no, don't do that's that. Deb, you're not wasting a fucking bottle. Uh, it was it's in your ass. ass. Oh, it's, oh, it's it's covered in the plastic. It's fine, I'll tell. Keep it. I really shoved it up there. Like that's he did. He shoved it up there. <laughs> you and your girl are going to the mall. Whatever. She's buying clothes, and she's trying clothes on. She comes out of the fitting room and says, "Do I look fat?" What do you say? Am I no. being chivalrous? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Gabby, are we being chivalrous in this scenario? <laughs> That means telling the truth. But you, okay, okay. Does she look fat? No, I'm just, uh, no. <laughs> Dude, that's that's up to you, you this question. That's up to you to decide if she, if it's not flattering. Okay, so and how would you word it? How would you word it without saying it doesn't look good on you? I would always say something so, about so, the color. I feel like so, that's, that's so, how I go about it. That's that was, that, that wouldn't color. work with me. I'm colorblind. She would immediately know I'm lying. <laughs> Do you know that your shirt's red? Yes, Gab. I'm not fucking stu I'm colorblind, not stupid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> one time we were fishing. I'll never forget this. It was funny as f <laughs> He's like, yo, these fish are gonna fuck up this blue worm. Worm was like fucking purple. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even funny. It's hilarious. Okay, there's been multiple. No, that's the next notes list I'm making. So that's what, for me? You with your color that is a, I have a disability. Gabby's just stupid sometimes. That's totally different. <laughs> Christian, Christian, what? No, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're right, yeah. All right, Christian, right. you're Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I have a medical condition. <laughs> I also have a medical condition. That makes me confused. Women. It's women. It's gotta be. That makes sense. 
Whoa, that was misogyny. Anyways, no, it was chivalrous. <laughs> Alright, then. <dude. laughs> <laughs> fucking being yeah, well, chivalrous. Whenever someone asks me if I'm telling the truth, I'll be like, chivalry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I dabble. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so you're, she's trying something on, she comes out of the dressing room, she says, do I look fat? No. But... <laughs> Fuck? Why is that? What is that? What is wrong Bro, with you? Bring up a fucking memory or something? Why you? What's wrong? I'm what not was even funny about that. Why are you leaning on me? <laughs> what was funny about that? Bro, came out his nose. Ew, he's dripping. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck, why are you laughing? We're still on air. No, we're, no, we're not on air, Gabby. We're gonna cut the she comes out of the. Stop! <laughs> redo, redo, redo. <laughs> The obvious answer, and the one you say, especially if it's your girlfriend, is no. Okay, but do you look at her and say no, or you just say no? What, what, what like, what, the second she comes out, you say no. Like, when she asks, no, when yeah, she like, asks no, you. when she asks you. It's yeah. like, it's like a, like a reflex. Yeah. Okay. Just say no. Honestly, I like saying no, but I would also, like, say something else to, like, why it doesn't look good on her. Just be like... Yeah, okay, if it's something where it's, like, I can, like, if it's something where I genuinely don't think it, like, looks good, then I'll, yeah, I'll, like, mm -hmm. critique the outfit, but not, not, uh, not What do you say? Like, like, meant something about, like, oh, just the pattern of it, or the, you know, like, the color coming from the colorblind person, you know, it's something to this guy. Something, something about the actual, oh, it's just maybe, it's, you know... You know, it just doesn't, it doesn't, like, It just doesn't know, match you. Yeah, it just doesn't match you. Something like that. But I never comment about her body. Yeah, no. Definitely not. I feel like that's, like, a really big, like... Just... Yeah. yeah. I feel like, yeah, no. I feel like no matter what the situation is, you don't, you don't ever critique or talk about uh, your girlfriend's body in that no. way. Yeah, definitely not. You just, you just tell her, like, I don't like, let's say it's, like, a dress. You're like, I just think something else would be more yeah, flattering. Just, it just doesn't match them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When you don't want to finish quick, what do you think about? When you don't want to finish quick? Yeah. I try to just slow down, so if I think about something else, it just... Is it this like, yeah. like just masturbating? Or no, or being in, in general? Act. Inflict pain on yourself. What? Like, what? like what? pinch yourself or dig your nail into your body. Really? While you're like, because why, so you're going at it, you're like... Yeah, because, okay, if you're going at it and you start thinking about, oh, hairy men's balls, that's only gonna, that, uh, that's gonna be a fleeting fucking thought. <laughs> that's, I, that never, that, I, I feel like that's not gonna work. can't get off and go over, like, the pain yeah, thing. Yeah, because that, because it's a, it's immediate, like, <clears throat> if, like, it's immediate reaction. Changes the feeling. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, some guys are like, oh, I think about my grandma, I think about this, like, I think no, about that. No, that shit doesn't, no. It doesn't actually work. That, I would just turn me off, so. and I just lose interest, just okay. instantly. Yeah, exactly, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to keep thinking about that the whole time. Yeah, like, if I think about something else while I'm doing it, I just, I can't do it anymore. Like, I have to stop. So you would just rather finish fast? No. No, I would just... Never that. I would either, just, either, yeah, either, yeah, either, 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 just, either just stop and do something else yeah, in that avenue, like, or... It inflict your, some sort of like not inflict pain on yourself, but like like pinch yourself or like shift your focus. Dig your dig your fingernail on your body or something. I guess like, that makes because you, like you, like you think about what you do today. Think about what you're gonna do tomorrow. Think about groceries maybe. Like. Or the, I mean yeah, yeah, but I feel like that's like I don't, I don't know. know. I don't feel like that's as effective as pain. Yeah, because like I, I understand what Chris is saying. So if you do have like a different reaction going off somewhere else on your body, it's gonna draw yeah, exactly. your mind away from exactly. Your penis. Okay. Exactly. But probably for not that long of a time. Longer than, longer than trying to think about, yeah. like, fucking balls or something. Because then you gotta get it back up after you're turned off. And okay. that's, like, a whole thing, bro. I gotta fucking jumpstart that bitch, hook it up to a car battery. Oh, Alright, moving start. on. What is a non-sexual bond that keeps a relationship strong? Fishing. <laughs> humor. Okay. Inside jokes. Yeah, humor. Alright. Inside jokes. Humor. It falls under the umbrella of humor, so. Yeah, I agree. Because you know, what if you're in a place that there's no fishing? Personal anecdotes. What if you're in a? What if you live in fucking? Uh, where's the state in like the middle of nowhere? Wyoming. Nebraska. They have lakes oh. in Nebraska. Wyoming. Wyoming. There's actually very good bass fishing in Wyoming. Okay, literally somewhere there's no or water. What do you live? It's not a topic for the wrong number podcast, yes. though. Yes. Continue, Gabby. Gabitha. Okay. If that's your real name. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it healthy to talk about your past relations or should you not bring it up? I feel like it's good to talk about them early on because if something happens down the line, like you notice something that might be affecting them, Get it's it out good of the to, way. yeah, it's good to bring it up and just be like, Hey, I noticed this. If you wanted to talk about it, I think we should and it just clears the air. Because really. yeah, sometimes there's people that don't like they prefer to not remember it. Yeah. 
Um, and there's also some people that don't see a problem with, you know, bringing it up so that way, you know, you're aware of, like, especially if that person, like, past relationship is, like, still in their life to some degree, yeah. then I think uh, that's definitely something that you, you guys need to talk about. Mm -hmm. But if it's, like, you know, you or your partner have been through it, whatever, they've moved on, and they're not even remotely involved in their life anymore, then I could see, like, there's no, you know, if they, if they don't feel the need, uh, or that they don't want to bring it up because it's like, you know, bad memories and everything, then that's their choice, as long as it doesn't affect us going forward. Yeah, basically. As what long if, as it's not interviewing with our relationship. What if they wanted to keep something from you, and they were being very It really about? depends on what it yeah, was. Yeah, like, like, if I, it's something okay. that they just genuinely don't want to speak about, and no matter how close we are, they just don't feel comfortable about it, I would respect that, because that means it's something, like, really deep down that they, they just don't feel comfortable sharing, yeah. no matter how close we are. If it's something like that, like they, they cheated. Just like, yeah, if it's something like that, no. Then it's just yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. My body. Wait, for someone's so long. calling me. You're on my phone. No, oh. they're not. No, someone's doing an outro. Oh. Someone's calling me. Oh, yeah, get oh, a call. You get a call. Hello? Ah. No, you have the wrong number. Ah. Uh, XOXO. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> Do you hear about the new XOXO wrong number clothing line? I did, actually. I heard it. That it looks pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it all looks great quality. You know, I hear they dropped a... You like fishing, right? They have, I do. There's a new fishing podcast shirt on there. I did see that. They have some nice affordable hoodies, some good material that's made of. I think I might uh, might caught me one of them. Maybe some hats pretty soon. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. honestly, would be a good purchase. I'd say so.